I often get asked, what does a tardigrade look like without using a microscope? And so today with this video, you get to see some extended footage of tardigrades in the wild, or at least in some moss. That's usually where I find most of my tardigrades. And it actually really suits them. The tardigrade diet is largely moss leaf. You've probably seen pictures of a tardigrade online, and they look like they have quite a intense set of teeth. And some of the microscope images, or the electron microscope images of a tardigrade are actually quite scary. But the tardigrades themselves are actually pretty cute. You can see one here poking around in the moss leaves. The tardigrades have a snout, and inside their little snout they have little teeth. This helps them to latch onto the cells of the moss leaf. And then the tardigrade can pierce the cell and suck out all the goodness. In some of my other videos, you can sometimes see what the tardigrade has actually been eating. More often than not, it's a bit of a green or a brown pigment. And that's got to do with all the chlorophyll that it's been sucking out of the plant leaf. So for the most part, tardigrades love to just eat the moss leaves. But there are over a thousand species of tardigrades or water bears. And some species have displayed cannibalistic tendencies. In the short while that I've been viewing and observing tardigrades, I haven't personally witnessed any of this activity. And so I think the species of tardigrade that I've found appear to just coexist with one another. In a couple of seconds, you'll see footage of a group of tardigrades that are obviously just coexisting together. It's pretty cool. A lot of the time we look at tardigrades, they're usually under the microscope and they're suspended in water. And this is fantastic for seeing their claws, their eyes, and just their legs and other features of them. And I think it's important to remember that they're often in a bit of a rugged terrain, such as the moss and the soil sample here. And when you consider this, you start to understand why the tardigrade has four to eight claws per leg. It really affords them a grip that is essential for their survival and for them to be able to cling and climb a lot of the moss leaves. So I hope you enjoy this extended footage. I think it's really cool. Thank you so, so much for watching, and if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see under the microscope, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see if I can do it.